Mazer, it's a really a pleasure to be able to chat with you and to have you here in Madison. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thanks for having me. Will I hold this? <laughs> Um, yeah, thanks for having me. It's now my fourth time back here. Yeah, I, d- I don't know actually what year it was, the first year I came. It's actually probably written on one of those prints, if we, <laughs> if we look over. I'm not very good at time, but um, yeah, it's my fourth visit now, so it's it's great to be back with everyone again. Can you um, tell tell me about your your background? You you're not somebody who came you know out out of a, an, an artistic uh, family, went to a conservatory, did you know did sort of the the formal thing. You started out as a graffiti artist, and uh, and as I um, if I th- I think I'm understanding this correctly, you did not come from a family that was particularly uh, artistic in this way. Is that correct? No. That's correct. Yes, you did your homework. <laughs> um, yeah, I uh, I envy that sometimes. Actually, when I read uh, bios of other artists and I see their formal training and um, whatnot, but no, um, unfortunately or fortunately for me, I come from a graffiti background, and uh, that comes that that pretty much started at the age of fifteen, and um, consisted of me going out in the street and writing my name. Simple as that, and uh, it really lent itself to my m- me at that time, um, my social surroundings, who hung out with, well, not you know, just sort of tied in nicely, and uh, it just gave me a lot of excitement and new opportunities, and found a lot of like-minded young guys, same as me. Um, so <clears throat> it's always been in my life, and that's continued for years, and luckily now it's developed into. I amalgamated that obviously with my interest in art as well, and it's brought me to this now. You know, was the original graffiti art was it an expression of I feel like I've got an an artist's soul within me, and I want to express that, or was it more just I feel like going out in the street and uh, and writing my name? Yeah, you probably weren't having those profound thoughts at 15. Um, <laughs> so it was more like, I'm going to go out in the street and write my name. But um, hindsight, yeah, you're you're curious to why you do these things. And even aside from being a graffiti writer and artist, like, what, what you know, what drives you to do this? And I think it's a question we review constantly and try to understand because you're self-evaluating yourself. But um, there was definitely... I had an interest in art, you know, from a young from a young age, and painting, trying to paint murals in the school or in the classroom, or, um, and yeah, graffiti was just there was no boundaries really, and you know, give a fifteen year old a kind of spray paint, this excitement there, uh, endless possibilities, and uh, it also as well as me meeting these like minded guys that I was talking about, uh, also gave me an opportunity to explore my city more, and. Um, so yeah you know looking back as you said there looking back it's definitely more than just an act of uh, vandalism or anything like that like that that's a small component of it and if people uh, believe that a lot of the that subculture that's their primary reason for doing that well they're wrong because if that's the case they'd be out robbing cars or smashing windows you know these these are young creative um disciplined um uh, kids and um, you know the, the, we had strong work, at, work ethic as well like you know we weren't brought to school to do it it's, it's all self-taught and you looked up to your peers and did it so like there's a lot to be said <clears throat> when you remove the label of graffiti um, or street art now it's what it's called um, there's a lot of young driven artists there seeking their purpose and reason and this just happened to be their medium, as someone might pick up sculpture and start molding clay. Yeah. So I'm, uh, I'll just let you hold it, because yeah. this, is, this is working great. Now you're doing my job. I like that. So one, that there's a, one of the things that really struck me in what you just said there was that when you were doing this street art, it gave you a chance to explore your city. So we're talking about Dublin, correct? Yes. Now, that intrigues me, because you're getting to know not only the architecture, but... People, maybe, um, maybe some of the social situations, maybe some sure. of the some of the sort of um, the 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 political and social concerns of the city, yeah. and I, I I just have to believe that that 
has the, did then and continues now to inform your art. Yeah. 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 Please talk about that. Inform my art, but also more importantly, inform me, give me a better understanding of myself, my surroundings. Um, maybe if I was in a studio all the time, I wouldn't have had those experiences that I've had. Uh, really good learning. Um, and it brought me to places in the city that I would have never went to before and the people that I met there. And uh, and then that developed onto the world, you know. I've been in some crazy spots in the world uh, with my artwork now and doing murals, what we'd call, consider now, post-graffiti or maybe um, post-vandalism. There isn't really a label on it yet because it's still right in that movement, you know. Um, but that's what we're labeling it as rather than street art so much because street art is quite a broad name that could I feel that could be performing on the street or something, right. you know, juggling or whatever. So, um, <clears throat> but yeah, this like the question you're asking is like it's it's sort of you almost have to parmentalize into about 30 different things because we're talking about 20 years of painting, you're talking about different purposes and reasons and the experience. There's so much just under this lifestyle rather than just going to painting pictures or paint like it's so intertwined with your with yourself and um and when i look at all my experiences through life graffiti or street art or whatever it is art has an integral part of all those experiences even down to relationships even down to my mother and father those relationships my financial situation <laughs> like couch surfing for months or like you know um the drive to go travel across eastern europe on one train ticket to go explore those cities with my artwork you know so it's um it's a really really you know we could we could probably chat for hours about that yeah you know yeah hopefully hopefully we can sometime yeah. <laughs> um so let's let's talk about i want to talk about your art in general but but first yeah. let's talk about what you're going to be doing uh here at tandem press because obviously this is a, a shop that is uh that is built for uh printmaking yeah. and so and these are some of your pieces here yeah. so when you come to tandem um because because you, you've you've had several visits before yeah. um how do you uh how do you design uh, what you do and uh, and how do you plan out your visits here to to fit in with with what tandem does yeah that's uh, a good question so there's never really a, a, a just a general overview plan and that's like i'll come and then i will create some work uh, I'll, i have a very busy schedule fortunately um and with that uh it doesn't give me maybe enough lead time. Maybe in an ideal situation, I could have a few weeks and craft some pieces and concepts. But in this instance and the last, it's like, okay, I'm going to tandem now. And um, But they're an amazing facility because they, um, they, they help me, sorry, they're an amazing facility for numerous reasons because they literally nurture every possibility that you want to do. I'm like, I have this idea and they'll, they'll problem solve everything. And um, so when I arrived here, because it's now my fourth time, I uh, understand the process a bit better. So I have the confidence to go, okay, I just need today to just regroup, get my bits together. And the environment in there is very, very calming. And there's like, a lot of headspace in comparison to Dublin at home. You know, I'm, I'm very busy there with my own space and gallery and studio. So here it's just that uh, f that, that sort of flow state that you want to get into. I, I reach it way quicker here. And, um, and uh, that comes with confidence and experience from being here before. So then the next day, I'm literally, we have the blueprints. And I know the process. I literally have to give the guys one and they can start on that and then it'll bide me enough time to then be working on another one and that'll bide me enough time to... So um, that's how it's going. And funny enough, um, I met the director, Paula, uh, while painting a mural in Dublin, out on the streets, so in my natural habitat. <laughs> um, and... Uh, you know, even that, like, that's a lovely story, you know, that she, that, that we met each other and she was curious. She saw me painting a very, very large mural and she was curious, was that it? Was that me? And she just came up and we had a lovely, I didn't know who she was, and we had a great conversation, gave me my card and we just started chatting over email and I came and visited and we built this relationship. It's terrific. 
Yeah. Yeah. One of the one of the things I really appreciate about Tandem is is this sort sort of thing. They'll bring in someone very established like yourself, uh, and uh, and then they they bring in students and and people get to interact to a sure. to a degree and and also you know in you know see your artwork, but also have a chance to actually meet with uh, with you. And I think that's uh, you know that's just a that's just a terrific uh, yeah. that's a terrific opportunity yeah. for for them. And I and I would think I, I would think kind of fun for you as well. Yeah, I mean, you keep coming back, so I assume yeah, yeah, yeah. I assume you like it here. That's great. Well, they're professionals, you know, so I know what they're doing. So, and with that, things work a lot easier, and there's uh, there's trust in one another. But what you said there about engaging those students in public—that's the premise of my whole work. I work in the public realm, and so that engagement. So you want your work accessible. You don't want those boundaries or those. Um, the hierarchy feeling, you know, that I used to get when we're going to, and that intimidation, you know, so I want my work to be very accessible through its um, layouts and colours and whatnot, but also, yeah, the environment that I work in, make, make sure that it's, that it accommodates for everyone. There, and there is a boldness to these works that I really, really enjoy, and we're going to uh, we're going to get close in on some of these so that we can uh, we can include this uh, in the video. But um, I also want to touch. We just have a couple minutes left, and I wanted to touch on the fact that um, you, printmaking is just part of what you do. Um, yeah. What what other what other art forms do you enjoy, and do you like to uh, do you like to use to express yourself? Um, yeah, I've, st I've studied printmaking in college a little bit. Um, a part of a visual communications course that I did graphic design, and I enjoyed it then. But I left it, and I went so I did graffiti, developed onto murals, progressed onto doing sculpture pieces, large outdoor installations. We've done video projection pieces, uh, video. Um, and then moved on to printmaking, had this opportunity to do this because it can lend itself a lot better to my, my artwork. But the reason why I would be cross-disciplinary is because I believe, um, uh, you know, you have a concept and it's problem solving. So you can't just force it into one box, like whatever. You have to be creative in the process. So if you want to execute something, you find out what discipline that is. And for these sort of works, these concepts, printmaking is ideal for that. And is there, to wrap up, is there anything that I did not ask you, but you'd like to talk about uh, while you're here? Oh. <laughs> you know, not to put pressure, but sometimes, you know, sometimes yeah. you something and you think, oh, I wish I, wish I could have well, said X, you know. Well, what you're saying there about the public and whatnot, or like we're touching on like your life and art, and they're very inter integrated in one another. Like my work is a response of my environments. So... The botanical work that I'm doing now, I think that's a response to living in London for years in this very congested city. Um, and I found myself up doing a lot of hill walking, any opportunity I got, and I'd travel and go mountain, go up into Patagonia, um, Kilimanjaro, different places like that. And I think that's this is a response to that. Then even down to like the first print that I did with Supreme, that's uh, my I could see how my public work was engaging with the public outdoors. So then I wanted to represent that on a 2D. So I started studying body forms and integrating them into my hardline graphics. So yeah, there's a lot of layers to your work, but I can see there's a huge connection there with what we were talking about earlier with my with my work. Yeah, and your work, you can tell that you know you your art comes from from your beginnings it comes from the streets and the people and the environment you came from and um and i would i would just uh, close by saying i think that's what uh, that's what makes you who you are that's what makes you unique and uh and and uh, and I, I i appreciate it oh come on i appreciate, I appreciate that too thank you All right. thank you <laughs> okay thanks <so> man. <laughs>